Hi guys, this is Erika at Create Your Future and in today's video I want to talk about can we really change someone else? So before we start, I also want to remind you that uh, we are running a contest. We are giving away some free coaching sessions. All the details are in the description down below. And also if you like to get notifications of when I have a sale or if I'm launching a new course, you can also uh, subscribe to our mailing, mailing list. And uh, the links are this, uh, in the description down below. I do have a sale going on right now for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. And uh, I have a new uh, course, How to Manifest a New Specific Person. Okay, so let's get to the video. So I still hear some people ask me, is it really possible to change someone else? To change their behavior and i think this question comes a lot because especially when you've had a relationship with someone when you already know how they are when you've experienced a, a certain version of them for a long time it's it's kind of it can be difficult to believe can this person really change and the answer is yes it's always yes why and how well it's i like to take it back to really reminding myself that in my reality i am the only person with free will and the way that this world universe however we want to call it the way that it works is that everyone out there it's a mirror of what i'm thinking that's why neville used to say no one to change but self. Meaning, if I want the other person to act a different way or a certain way, I'm the one that has to change. Meaning, I have to change what I am thinking, either of myself or what I'm thinking of the other person, right? Because everything is always just a reflection. It's like kind of like I am the the projector of a movie right and whatever it is that i'm thinking here it has to eventually project out into that 3d screen so looking at that analogy if i don't like the the movie the pictures are showing on the screen if i don't like that what do we do in that situation well we just change the tape right so if we go to the basic understanding that everything is just a reflection, everything I see and experience and how people treat me, if everything is just a reflection of what I'm thinking, all I have to do is change what I'm thinking of them, what I think of myself. And then I know that my 3D is going to change. So that is the reason why the answer is yes, that person can change but i think it's super important to believe in yourself to go back to that basic understanding that i am the only one with free will i am the upper end power of my life right meaning if i change what i think people change i'm the one operating everything that i'm experiencing and um so because of that yes it is possible but i think we also have to it's it's Telling ourselves, yes, I'm extremely powerful. Yes, I am, you know, I'm the only one with free will. Everything is possible in my reality. Everything, absolutely everything is possible. Because if we're still doubting ourselves, like, oh, am I really that powerful? Oh, am I really well, the only one with free will? Oh, do they really not have free will? If we're still questioning this if we, st if, if we still have this type of questions then we need to work on that and, and and believe in yourself have faith in the fact that you are the only one with free will have faith in the fact and the understanding of everything is a reflection of me so I, if i change they change if i change what i think of them yes they change and I can give you some examples like I was uh, with someone I, I I was in a relationship with someone and this person I had the assumption that he was really he didn't have patience 
that he was very explosive and the more i will be worried like oh my god like he's gonna come around and he's gonna he's going to be explosive the more like it will happen and the way i was feeling is i was not feeling respected i wasn't feeling yeah i wasn't feeling happy i wasn't feeling respected and so when i realize that everything is me it's like i can change the situation then i started thinking of myself as you know what no i am always respected i am always valued i'm always safe and like i will set the intention before i was going to spend time with this person like i intend that like he's going to be in a great mood every time he's around me he's happy he's in a good mood he's He's pleasant to be around. And when I started changing how I was seeing him, like he started changing and being more patient, being more like happier. He wasn't explosive anymore because I had this assumption that he's an alpha male. He's explosive. He's not respectful of me. So, and again, I was feeling not safe, not, not respected. Like I, I felt like I had to you know, be careful of what I will say or what I will do. And I will kind of feel afraid, not because I thought that he was going to do anything to me, but just the way that he will speak to me or his reaction. So that's not, that's not okay. We didn't come here to experience negativity, to be feeling like that. So I'm like, nope, no more. So when I started changing the way that I was feeling about myself, no, I'm always safe in this relationship. I'm always loved and respected, I am valued, and I will start seeing this person as someone that is always happy to be around, he's always in a good mood, he's respectful of me, then he started changing. So it's not like we're changing them, it's like we're changing what we're thinking of them because everything is always a thought, everything is always starts with a thought. So, but I believe that yes, I can change how this, the interaction, with this person is because I believe in myself as I am the, the upper in power. He has no other choice. He, do, he doesn't have free will. He has to reflect back to me what I'm thinking of him or what I'm thinking of myself. And I think that's why it's also important to not put labels on people of, of those labels that we don't want to experience, right? Because if I kept describing him as he's the explosive, he's not patient, that's a label, and he will continue to do that because in my reality, I call the shots, right? But is it something, is it, is it an assumption that will make me feel good? Is it going to benefit me? That's why it's important to like really listen to what we're thinking, right? That's where that having a good mental diet, it's super important because if I still... If I notice that I'm still thinking that this person is explosive, disrespectful, whatever it is that you're experiencing, then I need to change that. And yes, I can change the 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 person. Not the person, I can change I can change how I see the person and therefore it will reflect back different in my reality. And I, in the beginning of the video, I was talking about the, like when you have a history with this person, when you've already experienced this person in a certain way, it can be kind of like, mm, can, it, can I really? Because he's been or she's been like this for ages. Yes, it is possible. People can change in an instant. And uh, yeah, with this person, I... I I had known him for years. And when I changed how I will see him, he changed. But I made sure that I was letting go of those labels, putting new labels on him that will benefit me. And I think what was also super important is let go of that resentment that I had from him. Well, he hurt my feelings before. Well, he was rude to me before. Well, I remember when he did and this and that. Because if we keep holding on to that, we bring that past to the now moment and we keep, re you know, it's like we're uh, bring, be bringing back to life something that was already gone. That's the way I see it. 
right? Because I see that the now moment is is the only thing that exists and it's a powerful point, right? So whenever I'm bringing something from the past, let's say that this person was rude to me two weeks ago, if I'm like, oh, I remember, like, he was rude two weeks ago. Is he going to be rude again? Well, something that was already gone in the past, you brought it, I brought it to the now moment, and then I'm going to keep recreating that he's going to continue to be rude. And I'm like, no. Well, that was in the past. Yeah, he was rude in the past. But from now on, I'm always respected and valued. This person is extremely respectful of me. He's always in a good mood. He's such a sweet person. He's so respectful. He's so kind, etc., etc. But see, I am denying that version that was rude and disrespectful. I'm saying no more. And I am feeding the new story, the new version of him, the new version of myself as a woman that is love, respected, and valued. And yeah, this person changed. But again, I think I, I had to let go of that, the resentment of, oh, he did that, this and that to me. Because, you know, when when people say certain things, so they do certain things, of course, like, it's like, mm, it hurts, right? And it's okay to feel the hurt, but say, okay, I'm releasing that because it's not serving me. And you can use revision. When, when you have experienced something that was hurtful, revise it and say, no, it actually went this way. So I can revise that, for example, if he was rude to me two weeks ago I revised it and like instead of him being rude like actually he was really nice he was so sweet he brought me flowers why not because the subconscious mind will believe everything that you are saying to it so if I'm saying oh yeah he's rude I'm I'm disrespected by by people the subconscious mind will be like okay here's more of that you're someone that is disrespected here's more of that it doesn't judge you it's like okay whatever you say so if I'm telling my subconscious mind and then I'm, always, no, I'm always respected and valued. He was so sweet. He's always sweet to me. He's very respectful. He brings me flowers all the time. And the subconscious mind is like, okay, here's more of that, right? That's the way I see it. That's my interpretation. <laughs> it works with me. It, it clicks with me. So yeah, you can change that person no matter how long you have experienced that version that you don't like. They can change. And um, you can change everyone. <laughs> if you don't have a great relationship with, let's say, like your parents, change the way that you see your parents. And then with your parents, you have a history of like, well, you've been with your parents your whole life, right? But you can change that person. I used to see my mom as like, oh, we don't get along. Like she doesn't understand me. I was afraid of her. And I, I changed the assumption that I had of her. Like, no, we get along really well. She's very, she understands me. Like, instead of, like, her judging me, like, no, she, she loves me. She understands me. She's very supportive of me. And that's, that's the version of her that I experience now. Even though I've been, I mean, I've been in this world for decades. So, meaning I know my mother for decades. I'm not going to say how old I am, but... See, it's possible. I've changed the way I see my daughter. My daughter, I remember in the past, like I felt like we didn't have a good relationship. Like he, like she wouldn't really communicate with me. You know, she's in the teenage years. And I'm like, no, I'm going to see her as we get along so well. She's always in a great mood. And then obviously as a mom, like she had her stage where like she didn't feel confident. She would criticize herself a lot. And I'm, mm -mm. My daughter's always happy. She's so confident. She's, you know, she has great friends. And, and I mean, obviously, I also taught her, like, don't think that way. Change the story. Be your best friend. Tell yourself, I am amazing. I'm great. I'm, I have amazing friends. Everyone loves me. I'm the most lovable girl in the world. Like, I always get what I want. And now she's a totally different girl because I think... Besides what I taught her, it's also the way that I chose to see her. And I hear people even changing, like, their pets. If you have a pet and the pet is, like, <laughs> annoying, right? It barks a lot or whatever it is that the pet is doing, change your assumption that you have of your pet and your pet will change. With Prince, I didn't want 
a dog because I was more of a cat person because I grew up with cats. My dad loved cats and I grew up with Siamese cats. So my daughter was the one that wanted Prince and I'm like, no, I don't want to have a dog, right? And so anyways, like I ended up with Prince and and I made the assumption like he is really easy <laughs> to take care of. Like he and, and really like <laughs> he's kind of like a cat. He doesn't really bark. He doesn't bark. He's very calm. Sometimes I even forget that he's around. Like right now. Come here. Come here. No? Okay. He doesn't want to say hi. But yeah, like he's very calm. Kind of like a cat. Because I assume that that's, that's the, the pet that I will experience instead of... I had dogs in the past and they were hyperactive and I had to walk the dog 20 times. And with him, he's very easy. Like I don't have to do that. I mean, if... If you love having a dog to take out on walks that's fine that's your reality in my reality i'm like i don't want to deal with that because i live in a place where it rains all the time and it's cold and i'm like i don't want to deal with that like anyways going back to how you can change people situations pets you can you can because i molded prince into the kind of pet that i would like to have so yeah, everything is possible, you guys. I just want you to believe in yourself, to remember that uh, if I change, everyone changes around me, meaning the, what I'm thinking of them. And um, yeah, tell yourself I'm extremely powerful and I always get what I want. Manifesting and changing people is really easy for me. If you have, I believe that changing people is difficult change it into people like for me manifesting changes in people is the easiest thing in the world right and the more you tell that to yourself to the subconscious mind it will be like oh okay it will project out okay anyways i hope this video was helpful and um if you would like me to help you in your specific situation i am more than happy to do that all the links are provided below Thanks for watching, you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.